Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello. My name is Mamie and I am so excited to be bringing you guys this video. I am on my postpartum journey right now after having my second baby and I am really focusing this time around on getting back into my health and my fitness regimen a little bit earlier on. I am two under two when it comes to having kiddos and so I did have my babies pretty close together. That means my body didn't have a ton of time to recover between my first baby and my second. That being said, I am three weeks postpartum and I am feeling pretty darn good and I do think that I can credit some of that recovery and the speed of which I am feeling a lot better to some of these pelvic floor exercises that I've been doing. I am officially 12 pounds down just over the last two weeks, which is really insane considering I was 200 pounds when I actually gave birth to my daughter and then I just let things settle for the first week just to kind of see where my body would naturally revert back to and then that left me at 184. So pretty much all of the weight that you tend to gain um, just due to baby alone, I got rid of after like the first week. Um, and then I was like, okay, let me see what I can start to do with my body. And I decided to only focus on pelvic floor exercises. Now, before we hop into this video and I actually show you guys the, the routine and the things that I have been doing, or at least the top three movements that I've been doing for pelvic floor exercises, please be sure to consult your physician, whether that is an obstetrician, gynecologist, like your OB, or a midwife or your primary care provider, whatever that may be. If you are in the you know transition of just starting to recover after having a baby, definitely consult your physician and also listen to your body. If you are not ready to jump into working out, and even if that is just the pelvic floor exercises, that is perfectly fine. Pelvic floor exercises are super important to incorporate in your postpartum fitness journey and just in general, even if you are not super into fitness and you just need to be working on your pelvic floor, which everyone should work on their pelvic floor, but especially if you have had a baby, these things are going to help with if you have a weak bladder and are having bladder control issues, this will definitely, definitely help all the way through to if you are you know, scared or have super weak pelvic floor muscle and are possibly experiencing a prolapsed uterus these things can help with that. But again, listening to your body and also consulting your physician is incredibly important because if you do these things too soon or if you're starting to lift weights or getting into things that are just not ready for your body or your body is not ready for, you can actually cause a lot more harm than good and cause yourself to have a prolapsed uterus or other issues along the way as well. So listen to your body, listen to your position, um, and yeah, let's hop right into this. First, I am going to go ahead and tell you guys, like I said, I started out at 184 about two weeks ago. I will go ahead and insert a clip of where that was and what my weight was and actually my entire full breakdown. I do use an app called Fit Days and so it breaks down the weight, it breaks down your body fat percentage, um, bone density, a whole heaping thing, you know, list of things, um, just your body composition, which is really, really important for you to know. And then I will go ahead and insert where I'm currently at, at 172, and a list of my body composition things there as well. Guys, this is definitely a very vulnerable state for me to be showing you not only where I was with my body composition, but also clips and pictures of my body. So please be gracious with me as I'm trying to be gracious with myself. Um, and then remember to also be gracious with yourself. This is a very vulnerable time for you in recovery. And so giving yourself the time and the grace to just allow your body to do as it does. Um, you know, I am starting out with along with doing like my pelvic floor exercises and then other workouts for like my diastasis recti um, and things of that sort. I'm also just taking the time to allow my body to do what it needs to do to get back to a place of just being comfortable. I'm, you know, eating intuitively, but I'm not like tracking calories or doing anything super intense yet because I just don't feel like that's where I'm at yet. Maybe after I get fully cleared by my doctor, but as of right now, that's not where I'm at. Granted, even with 
only doing pelvic floor and a few other exercises for diastasis recti, which I can show you guys if you guys are interested. Um, I have lost 12 pounds over the last two weeks. So again, if you are consistent and you are just listening to your body, then it is still possible to continue to lose weight. So let's go ahead and hop into this and I'll show you guys the very first exercise. Alrighty, so the very first exercise is going to be a very traditional hip thrust. I am not involving or including any sort of additional weights during this time. I'm just ensuring that I am engaging both my glutes, my abdomen, and doing some sort of a Kegel with every hip thrust that I'm doing. And I do this for 12 repetitions of three sets. And on the very last repetition, I actually hold for 10 seconds. All right, and exercise number two is going to be alternating leg raises. Now for the purpose of this video, I did actually speed up each exercise, but in real time, I am ensuring that I am moving in very slow and controlled motions. I'm only lifting my legs to the point of being comfortable, and that comfortability definitely did change as the weeks progressed, but on the first week after coming home and trying this exercise, I definitely noticed some soreness in my pelvic floor, so I was only lifting my legs to the point of comfortability. With each movement, I'm really ensuring that I'm engaging my abdomen as much as possible and focusing on my pelvic floor. I do this exercise for 20 repetitions for three sets. The third and final exercise is going to be a kneeling hip thrust, and this is a wonderful exercise. It targets so many different parts of the body, including the glutes as well as your pelvic floor. Um, but for the purpose of this, with us just focusing on the pelvic floor, we're going to make sure that our knees are in line with our shoulders, and you're really going to make sure that you're going slow and controlled as you are sitting back into your heels, and slow and controlled all the way moving forward as well. I make sure that I am engaging both my glutes and my abdomen and also squeezing that pelvic floor nice and tight Alrighty, guys that is the end of this video and i really hope that you found these pelvic floor exercises to be helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned i am going to be doing some more fitness journey videos to come um, i do have a long way to go to get to my ultimate goal of anywhere between 140 and 145 pounds um, that is going to get me to the body fat percentage i'm hoping to get to and it's going to be actually the leanest i've been in quite some time so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be coming out with some more postpartum recovery um, videos as well to assist you guys with your journey if you are also in that stage of life. So I hope that you guys find all of this helpful and I'm excited to continue the journey with you guys. Bye!